Hey everybody, welcome to today's vlog where we're gonna be looking at the Kolari IR Chrome filter. It's currently not in the container, it's actually on the lens today and I'm gonna do the whole video pretty much with this filter. Um, if I do put another filter on for comparison, I will make a note of it in the corner here or here. And basically we're gonna look at this. It's a cool little uh, filter that you can get uh, for your full spectrum camera. It's important that it is full spectrum because this is a multi bandwidth pass filter that allows you to get this cool look with no channel swapping required. Now, obviously when I say that you don't have to do any processing, you do have to pick a solid white balance in your camera. You can also do it in post, but I generally say with infrared uh, camera, lenses, etc., that you want to generally make sure that what you see on the screen is what you are going to get. Otherwise, you're going to have some fun in post. Now, I did end up buying the 77 millimeter filter. It does come in various sizes for pretty much anything you want but obviously I'm gonna pick the one that fits most of my lenses and I'll use a step down or step up filter like this one right here for lenses that I wanna use that simply aren't 77. And again, having the biggest filter that my lenses needs means that I'm never gonna crop down the light on a large front element lens. So let's get into doing some photography with this and I'm gonna show you some images that you can do that are capable. Uh, I will be picking a white balance that will be suitable for the image, but I'm not doing any channel swapping or any other sort of extreme uh, processing tricks on the actual images I'm gonna show you. And we're gonna walk down the street and uh, check out some horses as well. try out a few filters with some horses horses and uh, yeah so right now I have my fader on it's at like 590 uh, I then I'm gonna use the IR chrome and I also have a 950 I believe it's 950 if it's not 950 I'll put in a number probably saying it's 850 one of those two and just to show you an example of some of the IR differences on sort of horses and animals simply because um, yeah uh, people Sometimes overlook those for uh, infrared, and uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to do that. So this is the full spectrum lens all by itself. Um, I know there's a little bit of wind, apologies for some of the sound. Um, and this is the filter, so I'm gonna put that on here. There. So this is just a quick look at what the IR Chrome filter can do. I've had it a couple days out to give it a try. I'm still playing around some of the settings. I am imaging it using a Lumix G5, which has been modified for full spectrum imaging. It is important that you do have a full spectrum camera, otherwise the image will essentially end up looking very blue. Okay, so let me know in the comments what you think about this lens, the first look, and in a week or two, I'll probably post a more in-depth uh, video where I've actually gone and tried this out on a couple different lenses. I'd like to get a adapter so I can fit it on my macro lens because my step down rings don't go to uh, 76, I think it is, or 67. So I'd like to be able to try this on some macro as well and see if I can also get some additional bird photography, but with a, uh, a little bit more uh, telephoto lens than what I have with me today. 
So let me know in the comments what you think. Give me a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, feel free to share this video with anyone you think might want to consider this filter because it's actually quite a nice little change. And um, yeah, I know for people who like that original look, um, this is in digital, pretty much straightforward. So signing off and uh, have a great day.